Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a good day. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share my students' perspectives, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. In our previous meeting, we talked about the USA, and I have explained in brief about the country from many relevant and valid sources. So this time, I'm going to share with you my students' thoughts, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. Please remember that the students have never traveled to the U.S., but they have high interest toward the U.S., and some of them want to travel to the country simply because the U.S. is an interesting country to be visited. And, of course, I graduated from one of the public universities in the U.S., so my students feel more attracted to see the U.S. because of that. I hope that you could listen to the voice of this 55 students, consisting of female students and male students in my classroom. If you have any question or feedback or anything you would like to state, please write down in the comment section below. And I'm happy to share and I'm happy to answer all of your questions regarding the student's voice. At last, this video has in been intended to share the student's voice about the country. I hope that it is useful for everyone in this YouTube channel. and. Have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before we proceed further to watch the student's voice, please subscribe in this YouTube channel. Silahkan di subscribe dan kita berdiskusi secara intelektual in this YouTube channel, Mr. Seth's Corner. Sparkling silent silhouette and intuitive, emotive, and reflective. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Shifa Karunisa. You can call me Shifa. I'm from English Department B. My English lesson number is 1814050 and 62. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I think of the United States as a Muslim student. Before I tell you about my opinion about the United States, actually I'm super excited to record this video because I have amazing story and amazing experience about America. Okay, the first one is about, I have a best friend. She got scholarship to America. She entered then the high school in Michigan uh, about a year. She got the scholarship from our school, which is uh, Islamic Center High School, Tripadang, or Mandua Padang. I also applied a test, but I didn't pass. Surprisingly, she got the scholarship and went to America, lived in Michigan with her host family. And she told me all, all about her daily life in America, how the American treats her so well. How the American be respectful, be nice, be kind to her, and especially how being the only one Muslim in her school, in Dundee High School in Michigan. Oh, so that's very amazing. That's a very um, tough moment, of course. And uh, she also told me about uh, her host family. Her host family is are so kind uh, the family member uh, be nice to her and and you know uh, from from that moment uh, I learned that how to be nice and how to understand each other how to be tolerant person second one is about my friend I have friends from Suriname uh, which is in South America a southern part of America. Uh, we are making friends about two years. Yes, he studied in Padang. He studied in one of university in Padang, and um, he got the scholarship also from uh, his 
country surname and also uh, sometimes we do a cross-cultural uh, he learned about my my culture especially Mina culture and I also learned about his culture uh, surname culture and uh, I love to be friends with him uh, because the first is about he is a foreigner he is uh, from South America and I can learn from him uh, how the American and how the surname of course and also he is a very nice person um, he is so funny yes and uh, he is very tolerant person and we are um, trying to understand each other uh, about yeah I know that we have a we have so many differences different culture different country and answer different religion but uh, we are still a best friend you know but sometimes uh, we are sharing each other sharing about uh, his daily life and me too I also share about my uh, daily life um, in Indonesia and yeah we are we are best friends we are making friends okay the third one is about I actually a Facebook user I always be active on Facebook every day every time and every second <laughs> always on Facebook and you know I found the best fan page on Facebook the fan page is American Muslim that's a real fan page um, that's a no fake fan page uh, that fan page is always live in yes yesterday uh, that first page live in uh, New York Times Square yes I guess and nowadays surprisingly many Americans converted to Islam I don't know why that's a very that's very amazing and you know sometimes the friend page uh, live and uh, it shows many Americans share the Holy Quran to other people and some of them are comforted and um, say uh, shahada and that's also um, yeah I am happy to see that uh, that moment and that how that it shows that how Islam is spreading so fast in America and I be proud to be a Muslim Finally, my opinion about United States is uh, America is a great country with its people and uh, with the famous uh, sentence is make America great again and oh my gosh that uh, everybody knows that sentence very popular in the world and uh, America is a diverse country not only white American but also black American and Mexico American that's a um, very uh, diverse and many people co are come from to America uh, with a different um, skin tone different color different uh, culture and different background and that's a very uh, we are in one united and they are very tolerant and uh, america is also famous with the freedom freedom to choose what they want freedom to choose what they do and freedom religion and i hope that i can visit america one day i mean and yeah that's all about the video uh i apologize to you all uh, if i have some mistakes and thank you so much for watching and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh good morning everyone let me introduce myself my name is rahmatul idola my register number is 18 14 05 00 okay in this occasion i would like to answer mr sayed's question in our last meeting and the question is as a student coming from Islamic background and you have never traveled to the USA, what do you have in mind about USA? Okay, mister, I'll, I will answer your question in my video. The first, one, the first one is westernized. The first thing that come to my mind is USA is westernized. Um, because of that, I think 
the cultures and the custom of USA are contrast to Indonesia. Uh, as someone who have never been to the USA, I think that is the first thing I think of. Because if I look on social media, I see that USA people are westernized. For example, in the way they dress, I see a very significant difference with Indonesian. The majority of whom are Islam. Uh, another example is the way they socialize. From the way USA people interact, uh, it is clear that the difference between them and Indonesian is clear. In Indonesia, uh, associating with the opposite side who is who is an mahram is prohibited because it can be an ikhtilat. Whereas you see in USA, if everyone can hang out freely, there is no time and age limit. They are free to meet anytime and anywhere. Based on that reason, I say that USA people adhere to westernized ideal and values. And um, the second one is USA is a Muslim minority country. In Italy, I thought that the USA is a country with a Muslim Islamic minority, and I thought Islam was very small and didn't develop there. Because I had always known that Muslims there were sometimes threat badly or discriminate against. Therefore, there is something that comes to my mind, a question, how did Islam develop there? Because after I read and watched Mr. Said video on his YouTube channel uh, last week, I knew that Islam is the truth is religion in the USA after Christianity and Judaism. This is this done rule of possibility that later Islam will become the majority there. I think and compare with Indonesia. If in Indonesia the religion of Islam is easy to develop because I think uh, the Islam is appropriate and doesn't conflict with our custom, our habits and cultures that exist in our society. Whereas uh, in the USA, the way of life and culture in their life is contrary in the brand to Islam. I hope Mr. Said as my lecture can answer my question, how can Islam develop there, develop there uh, and uh, because I think the way of life, US, uh, the people in the USA is the brand and contrary to Islam. And the last one is uh, the last one is the way of worship. Uh, in Italy, I thought the way of worshiping Muslim in the USA was the same as what I did as a Muslim living in Islamic majority country uh, Indonesia. <laughs> but it turned out that I was wrong after I watching the video. At the meeting last week, I knew that the way of worship Muslim in the USA is different from Indonesia Muslim. From the Indonesia sound, there is a photo that catch my eye. Jadi ada sebuah foto yang menarik perhatian saya dan saya jadinya stuck di sana. In the photo, I can see several women praying in congregation atau sholat berjamaah. Uh, then, then I see they don't wear mukena. They only wear uh, hijab and drop even only wearing tunics and pants of course this is a question for me i'm comparing with indonesia if in indonesia we pray without wearing a mukena maybe we will be uncomfortable because since childhood we were taught to pray using the mukena this is not wrong maybe it it does uh, worship cultures but i see uh, that there are those uh, that uh, that there are those who are not wearing socks. Of course, their feet are visible. Jadi saya melihat kalau mereka tidak sebagian dari mereka itu tidak memakai kaos kaki. Uh, tentu saja kita bandingkan dengan Islam. Kalau kaki kita terlihat, tentu sholat kita tidak sah gitu. Sedangkan mereka tetap saja sholat. Kalau salah satu hal yang membatalkan sholat adalah terbukanya aurat. Berarti kalau kaki terlihat berarti sholat itu batal Kalau menurut saya sendiri sebagai uh, orang yang tinggal di Islam majority country Jadi uh, 
itu sangat berbeda dengan Islam dan tapi setelah saya lihat mereka tetap sholat mungkin itu memang cara mereka dan budaya mereka untuk sholat sedangkan bagi saya yang boleh terlihat hanya wajah dan telapak tangan and um, therefore Uh, I can conclude that the way to worship Muslim USA is different from Indonesia Muslim. And okay, well, thank you. That all, that's all I can explain in my video this time. Thank you and see you later. I will waiting for you for our next topic and our next question. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Istira Mawijaya. My registration number is 18405068. Uh, I'm from BBIB and here I would like to tell about my opinion uh, what I think uh, of the United States as an Indonesian Muslim student. Okay? Uh, as a person who was born a Muslim living in an area of Muslim people who have never been to the USA at all, My view of USA is that USA is a country where you can find people like you only in part. It means that there are few people who have the same beliefs as you. The rest hold other beliefs. Countries where there is also racism about the difference in both religion and skin and other physical forms. However, tolerantly do some of them appreciate the existence of Muslim around them. They are very respectful and sometimes they will protect their relatives or friends who believe in being Muslim. Basically, they just have different perspectives on Muslims. A small example of their form of respect for Muslims is that they allow the building of mosques for the Muslim community. USA is a country that, that is developed and all sophisticated. Who doesn't want to go to the USA? We can find very beautiful destination there. It all depends on people's perspective. Religiously, the USA may be more predominantly non-Muslim, but this doesn't pose a threat to a Muslim to be afraid of being in the USA. On the other side, if we look at it from the perspective of Haram and halal, maybe some of us questions how we can distinguish, distinguish between halal food for us to eat there. Is there a restaurant that provides halal food? The answer is, of course, there is. They provide it all as a form of their respect toward us. And what about the head covering? For those who don't know, may ask what the club on our head is for why do we use it they would even think we are racist right for that maybe we can explain well to them about how we can how we and the reason why it will change their sense of wonder toward us however it is not uncommon for them to speculate negatively about us so we we should be more careful and still do good to try to appreciate them and make them understand about our existence. Besides of that, as smart Muslim, especially as students, we must be good at sorting out if we are there, whether in associations, food, or education, because it will have a very strong effect on us later. Basically, USA is a country that everyone craves. I even really want to go there because the country is very beautiful and the education there is also known to be very good. It's just that maybe the environment we should be aware of. How can we always remain istiqamah in faith, pious to remember Allah, and stay on the right path? Everything in essence depends on how we are, how we can arrange ourselves in a new situations for us. Just take something from the positive things. Don't just because we want to look different and more modern, we leave our obligations due to the pleasures we find. And in another side, 
what what is my opinion as a Muslim students about USA? Namely, USA, as we know that USA is led by a leader who is not a Muslim at all. Even he can be said to be hostile to Muslims. As someone who wants or wants to go to the USA in the future, we must know that we need to be firm and wise in swallowing a perspective that is contrary to our faith. Faith is basically something that we need to maintain no matter where we are. Surely, with faith, we can live this life in accordance with the Sharia and the grace of Allah. All of us may go to America or USA or wish to stay there as long as we have the faith and knowledge that we must have. Okay, that's all my opinion about what I think of the United States as an Indonesian Muslim student. I think it's enough. Thanks. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Gimnastiar Pariski and today uh, my register number is 18140500N64. Okay. Today uh, I will tell my opinion about the USA. I as a Islamic student. I think um, in my opinion, I think USA is a big and large country that have uh, people a lot of people in that country uh, and then not only that uh, as a big country uh, of course USA has uh, many culture into the country and then um, not not only a big and large country USA uh, have a, a big effect for economic in this world I, I mean if uh, the economy in the USA has uh, had down or was down that means uh, the economic in the other country will down too that's why uh, USA have a um, big effect in economic in this world uh, as a Islamic student I, that I never go to USA or that country uh, I have a knowledge uh, for that country like um, many Muslim or there are many Muslim in that country living in that country um, but uh, the people of uh, USA they don't really like a Muslim uh, they think uh, the the Muslim is so uh, traditional and their clothes are traditional that's why um, they they don't really like Muslim and then uh, the people in the USA um, still uh, still uh, think uh, Muslim are foreign for them they 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 didn't uh, accept Muslim uh, exactly and then uh, but not not all of people in the USA uh, hate Muslim uh, I mean uh, there are many Muslim in the USA can socialize and living like usual like usual like uh, normal people in the USA I mean there are many uh, uh, people or citizen in USA accept a Muslim as uh, his friend or her friend that can uh, socialize and uh, between Muslim and uh, the people in the USA and not only that uh, I think USA is a racist um, country I mean a lot of people in the USA uh, have uh, chance to racist to someone uh, I will give you example uh, for from the George Floyd uh, case uh, he died after um, the police uh, the white police 
uh, the white skin police uh, catch him and then they catch him and um, George Floyd uh, die in his hand I mean uh, in that uh, from that uh, case uh, I can uh, take a conclusion that the people in the USA have a big chance to be racist and then uh, the people in the USA uh, they don't really like uh, the people with uh, black skin I mean they still uh, make a difference uh, between uh, white people and black people that's that's why uh, I can take conclusion that USA has um, or can uh, have big uh, racist and then not only black people they they still uh, they still uh, think about uh, Muslim are terrorists they think uh, Muslim are terrorists because of uh, the the case of uh, 911 building or 911 uh, case that's why uh, you the people in the USA has uh, hate still hate or uh, they they think uh, Muslim are terrorists and they don't really like uh, Muslim so I think uh, just uh, that's all that's of all that I can tell you about my opinion about uh, USA as a Islamic student so I hope uh, you can catch my uh, idea and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Atika Putri Melsan you can call me Atika I'm an English education student at Islamic State University of Padang. My register number is 14. Well, in this video, I will present my perspective about USA or United States America. Um, as a student who coming from Islamic background, and has never traveled to the USA in my mind USA is a very large country with all the technological sophistication there I thought that was uh, extraordinary then I heard that in the USA the people there are very disciplined they really value time as people often say that time is money i think that is very different from in indonesia where most people like to be light to be late uh, well even though the usa is a country with a muslim minority and what i really regret is that the people there are like being against uh, islam because they think Islam is related to te terrorism even though it is wrong assumption in Islam is one of the religion that really value brotherly relations I really appreciate the Muslims who live there even though they are discriminated against they still survive there I really appreciate them. If I have the if if I if I have the opportunity to go there, uh, there are still things that make me feel doubtful, such as how I will get halal food there, how I will pray there. But I think now it's very sophisticated era so that everything can be accessed via a smartphone but what i still doubt is how will the response of the people there uh, who see us as a muslims as as muslims will will they avoid us 
because I've heard that people there don't like to see women wearing hijab but I hope that someday I will have I will have opportunity to visit the United States America because I want to experience what life what life is really like there uh, that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh hello everyone i'm Rika Rusriningsi from TVIB i want to give you my opinion about united states as indonesian muslim student usa is the post industrial developed country and the most advanced economy in the world usa is the oldest federation in the world that still exists until now USA is a constitutional and representative democracy with a majority power invaded by minority right protected by law invaded. And then, the welfare of life in the US is one of the highest among other developed countries, both in reducing relative poverty and absolute poverty, whose children are much smaller than the average of other rich countries. If you took Government and private expenditure per capita in the US are the highest. The poverty is effectively reducing among among all among other citizens. A 2007 study by UNICEF on the well-being of children in 21 developed and 21 developed country ranked the US as the bottom of the list. You know, you know what? America is good and amazing in music and film industrial, which like Hollywood, and the music which like Ariana Grande, Billie Eilish, The Beatles, and Demi Lovato, and the other because I'm a lover of Hollywood and music. And put it aside, the U.S. people are not familiar with the Muslim community as they are used Christianity, Catholicism, or Judaism, maybe the, the atheists, which have been in the US for, for much longer and have higher visibility in the local media. However, this trend is began to change in recent years. According to the Islamic Foundation, Muslim in the US Muslim in the U.S. experienced a very difficult period when the event of September 11, 2001, that was cured. The anger of the U.S. people had lead to intimidation, vandalism, and demonstration, which caused most family, most Muslim Muslim families to feel afraid. You know, uh, fortunately, it wasn't like before 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 there was a wave of sympathy of solidarity support them support them from the local community what touched them the most was when student uh, when student from the public school and the others really religious communities volunteer to create a human change with muslims uh, with muslim to protect their to protect their islamic school founded and muslim housing and mosques and then you know from then on they realized that the majority that the cheek that the majority of the american people were on their side they were they were also held by the statement by the major of chicago richard dolly that the that the gov the chicago government and municipal official will not tolerate discrimination and intimidation and also against any ethnicity or religion. Since then, the Islamic Foundation has been more open and judged in interfaith activities. They formed the Da'wah Committee, which served as an intermediate intermediary committee between the Islamic community and the local community, among others by including students from other public schools and their parents so that they could better understand the true the identity of Islamic that which is you know that the true identity of Islamic the full spirit of speed of peace brotherhood richness of mind and also the character and maybe it's all my opinion that's the data I found and 
yeah you know what american is most is a popular in the world not only uh not only about the music not only about the film but also the politics Politic is most famous in the world, as I know. That's the data I found. That was, um, okay. And yeah, that's my all of my opinion. I'm sorry if I have some mistake from that the data I found, and also that I gave you my statement. Thank you, and um, yeah, thank you so much for your attention. Let's see you. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Luli Fariza. My register number is eighteen forty zero 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 five twenty eight. I'm from TBI B. As Indonesia Muslim student who has never been to the United States, and we all know that Muslim in the United States are the minority. And not like Indonesia, uh, which a uh, minority. Uh, for me, the United, uh, which is the majority, uh, for for me, the United States is a big uh, country, uh, a country famous for its high technology, uh, with a well now film industry and several uh, prestigious university. The United States uh, has a long history of relationship with Islam. Although Muslim in the United States are mostly minority, and some of them are the their tens and even hundred of year old, the Islamic culture they're different from the Islamic culture in Indonesia. Is there is no cult prayer in America like Indonesia? The American are unfamiliar with the Islamic community uh, are Jew because they are much more uh, interested uh, in the United States and have high visibility in local media. Uh, Muslim population in the United States have increased uh, in the last hundred year where most of this growth uh, has been incurred by immigrants. Uh, industrialized country and the United uh, States is also home to uh, the number of is 30 population of 350 million in the United States mostly more in the private sector there is free life United uh, State uh, there is is free life it's all about sex in USA uh, many people have found um, my way through Islam. As I read uh, on social media, he is a drucker uh, and a drug addict, and now he find his way through Islam, and he finally convert to Islam. Last year of few year, the Muslim population of USA has grown up. Uh, we can be see from continued uh, increase in the of most good there, you know, in you know in uh, um, Islamophobia. Uh, Islamophobia is the fear and hundred of Islam uh, and therefore of all Muslim. Hal mid sit up middle Eastern restaurant with a delicious menu like ham and up a street hub most American can read because they are in Persian or Arabic. Who did all a packet with car Friday afternoon in the wearing traditional kaftan with matching hat cover. Traditional kaftan with matching head sharp uh, and multilingual chief chat are about uh, if you think you notice when you first walk down in the street of uh, dirt bone michigan the same skin is common uh, and smaller uh, scale and over american critical where islam a monolithic fight based on the traditional of abraham is widely dispersed since the early colonial time, Muslim have been part of the American culture and continue to contribute uh, to its diversity in every 
aspect of the American life. A culturally, uh, ethnically, and socially diverse group, Muslims have also, also generated different viewpoints from the American public. Rights Among Slavers, a PSB production, document the early Muslim uh, who live on America's soul through the story of Muslim African friend Abdurrahman Ipsori, uh, a Slavic and broke to American. I did record show that between the 10 and 20 percent uh, of slaves broke to America science of Muslim immigrants from Arabic and Turkish city land in America then the post-war war two era sent a few more uh, but the chair and the biggest influx Congress law of immigration opened the door uh, to more uh, than 100,000 Middle Eastern South Asian and Africa Muslim immigrant eventually the Muslim population steadily grew due to high fertility rate and a several conversion today is the war and American face growing religion according to the American religious identification survey Muslim counts for a uh, null a percent of the American population, yet other statistics show that up to 7 million Muslim live in America, even though uh, they live in uh, over United uh, States, they are considered in four major uh, area. First, uh, the New York or Boston or Washington area, second, California, third, the Chicago, Javelin, and the per uh, Midwest, Midwest area and last Texas City like Houston and the last four world. Muslim are diverse in the ethnic, religious practice and belief, as well as culture, the ethnic background, uh, are mostly shown uh, Asian, Arab, and African American, yet many come from Iranian, Turkey, white, Latino, and Native American origin. People recognize me for being a boxer and a man of truth. I wouldn't uh, me for I, I wouldn't be here representing Islam if it uh, were terrorists. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Alan Caprio. I am from TBIB. And my registration number is 1814050053. Okay, what I think of the United States as an Indonesia Muslim students in Indonesia. The first thing is that Muslim are not familiar with the religion community as they are used to Christianity, Catholicism, and Judaism, which have long been in the United States and have visibility, which is high in the local media. Therefore, Islam was a minority in the United States at that time, especially after the bombing of the WTC building in the United States in 2001 caused at the anger of the United States people to lead to, inti to lead intimidation, vandalism, and demonstration causing most Muslim families to feel afraid and also the Muslim community was considered terrorist at that time uh, Fortunately, it wasn't long before there was a wave of sympathy and solidarity support from the local community what taught them the most was when students from other public schools NGOs and other religious communities uh, follow, volunteer to create a human chain with Muslim to guard their Islamic schools found, uh, founded and Muslim housing and mosque from then uh, they realized that the majority of the American people were on their side. They, they were also helped by the statement by the mayor of Sisego, Richard Daly, that the government and city officials of Sisego would not tolerate discrimination and intimidation against uh, any ethnic and religion. So high is the confidence of the Islamic community that they can push back certain groups movement that tend to be intolerant of Muslims. 
uh, other dialogue participants replied that there are very few or almost no United States Muslim who are involved in terrorists. And even if it is counted there are, there are more United States terrorists who came from other groups. Uh, for example, the white supremacist movement. Uh, and America embraced liberis, liberalism because most of the American population uh, considers that religion plays an important role in everyday life besides that they are also a secular state, namely country whose government uh, does not recognize a particular re religion. As an, uh, as an official religion. Even though as a secular state in the United States, government uh, guarantees freedom religion for its uh, United States citizen. So, because of that, more and more people in the United States are believing in Muslims. There are uh, that they can increase the value of religious tolerance in the USA because uh, what I'm told you before uh, and the the last thing I think about the uh, I think about the United States United States is that uh, this country is a developed country from various aspects compared to Indonesia uh, for example uh, we can see it from the education in the United States the average school there already has complete facilities and infrastructure compared to school in, in, in Indonesia. This is because every year the United States government allocates education funds uh, of uh, $500 uh, million, dollars. Uh, I think, uh, I mean trillion dollars uh, to be used for primary and secondary school needs. Uh, then in terms of the economy in the United States, which is also classified as advanced compared uh, to other countries. The advancement of the, the United States economy is driven by the availability of abundant natural resources, well default, well default uh, infrastructure, and high pro productivity. Although uh, this country is classified as a post industrial industrial country the united states the united states remains the largest producer in the world this is what makes many other countries want to cooperate with the united states including indonesia to develop uh, their economy okay that's all for me assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ulfa Merlina And my register number is 1614050099 English Department Here I will answer the question is about What I think of the United States of As an Indonesian student Muslim before I talk about what I think of United States as Indonesian Muslim student, I will speak. Here I'm a Muslim student in Indonesia. Maybe while studying in our country where the major majority of Muslims do not experience so much difficulty in carrying out daily activities as a Muslim student. Because there is tolerance between different in belief which is very good in our country but when talking about us maybe as us muslim student there are a few difficulties such as in the month of ramadan maybe as us muslim student there are a few difficulties such as in the month of ramadan the time difference to undergoing the length of fasting may seem long compared to us in indonesia and muslim are also a minority in the country but 
there are definitely many wants and interesting experience that we experience while being a Muslim student in the country of Paman Sam. And maybe the thing that feels is quite sad if you become a Muslim student in the US is there is a time of Eid al-Fitri, which is the day we usually we usually celebrate with joy with family, but if in the US, while being a Muslim student there, we celebrate Idul Fitri alone or with fellow Muslim friend there. And maybe at the in the heart of Muslim student, they will feel sad or they will miss their parent or family when Idul Fitri comes. But there is the time when we are taught to be independent, to be strong individual. And for the issue of worship, maybe not all as reported. There are still a lot of America who have a great tolerance toward Muslim students there. It's because of the culture of the United States that really respect freedom, including freedom of religion. And also being able to study in America is everyone dreams, I think. So, if we become a Muslim student, there is we don't need to worry. And also, we can present ourselves as a good newcomers. And also have to tolerate them. So that if we respect each other and each other tolerance to con existence there will be such thing as division or strife and american society respect who people practice religion and they are curious and happy to ask you question about your religion and practice and why we are obliged to do so and in a sense in general the people of the United States on campus will be very tolerant of your religious belief so there is no need to fear that your worship will be hampered during your studies in the US indeed sometimes it takes a little more effort to carry out of worship but if you really intend and obey of course, this is will not be a problem. The choice to worship is always there. The decision to practice it is within each of us. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatin Samina. My registration number is 18140506066. Okay, now I would like to answer the question in the part 2. Uh, the question is how Muslim in the United States okay as Indonesian Muslim student who have never been to the United States and we all know the Muslim in the United States are a minority unlike the majority in Indonesia the United States it's a big country a country famous for its high technology with a small now film industry and several practices in university. The United States has a long history of relationship with Islam. All talk Muslim in the United States are mostly minorities. And some of them are in their tens and even hundreds of years old. The Islamic culture, there is different from the Islamic culture in Indonesia. The Americans are unfamiliar with the Islamic community, or just because there are much more a transit in the United States and have high visibility in local media. But Muslim populations in the United States have increased in the last hundred years where most of these groups 
has been encouraged by immigrant. And then I think that Islam in the United States is indeed a minority, not like Indonesia, which is the majority. And there is also to pray the call to pray, and it is perpetuated by the people that as knew them. And I think Islam there is not like us if we want to worship. It is not as free as we were in the majority. They choose food. It might be a bit difficult to find out what is lawful because of the of the right of that right. For the people, there might have to be more careful about whether or not a food is halal. And also have strong fight considering living in a country minority. Okay, maybe that's all uh, my answer. And thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Harwita. My register number is 1814050. I'm from English Department B of State Islamic University Imam Bonjol of Padang. And now I want to give my statement about my perspective of Islam in USA. Actually, before I watch Mr. Said video, in my mind that I think Islam in USA didn't have a good respect from government, citizens, and other in that country. Yeah, I didn't lie that I was one of admirer that country. I was admirer that country before uh, I before today or before I uh, study at college. But I was admirer that country since I was a children. I often to listen, often to hear the story uh, or the, the people around me talk about America, America and America. America is a great country. America uh, have a, uh, have a, America was a rich country. The America have a good technology, good education, and so on. So in my mind that America is oh amazing, and yeah, we cannot deny that America or USA is amazing country. I also open to read article about that country for to find the little by little what the pictures or what the cause that can make the country to be the super power country. What the cause that make the country is the advanced country. Yeah, we can see that America or USA is the country that advanced almost uh, about the all files, for example, economic, healthness, we have any economy, political, and so on. And after I read some article, and based on the search that uh, I get, I know that the country be the, be the superpower country because that country is uh, have a openness about immigrant all immigrant from other country in the world and that country also one of country or uh, USA is multi-ethnic country in that uh, country some uh, few, few percent of citizen that living in that country is not all about the native but also 
many of immigrants from other countries, for example, Spain, France, Japan, Chinese, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and other countries. And the immigrant chose the America because America is a advanced country and the immigrant that live in America have a various reasons, for example, for study, work, married, and so on. No wonder if uh, other people or many people won't live in that country. It include me. Yeah, it include me. I also have a dream to work, to stand life, and to uh, spend uh, my time in that country. For example, for job or study, because yeah, that country really, really amazing. But uh, I think that the openness of that country not include of Islam or Muslim. Why? Because we can see that in the reality, and we also open to hear that the people that from Islam or the Muslim in that country open to get racism and I also open to hear that lady or the Muslim that wearing hijab in that country hard to get a job so uh, after hear that issue I have a uh, most fear to to uh, continue my dream to stay at, uh, at that country. But after I watch Mr. Said's videos, I know that oh, in the country itself have a Islamic story. And yeah, nowadays we also can see that the people in that country can live good, can live good, can have a good uh, life, can have a good respect, and also can success in that country, not only for uh, the Catholic, Protestant, Buddha, and other religion, but it include uh, Islam. Yeah, it's my opinion, because we can see that many people from Indonesia that uh, stand in that country, that live in country for uh, for the goal, for example, for study, for work, and we can see that they, until today, they have a good respect, and they can live like other people, like other people live in that country. And I also have read one article that in uh, article said that uh, in future Islam can be the second big reality or can be uh, what again okay, can be one of reality that have uh, many followers in that country. Why? Because the Islam person or percent or the Muslim in that country in Wajais was have a good uh, place, have a good respect and also they can uh, be role model in that country. Why? Because the Islamic organization in that country for example, Organization Islamic of Chicago uh, Premiers alumni that uh, of course Islam and other they have they have have a long standing with loyal government mayors uh, loyal loyal cities local citizens media police business group and also religions group so it's possible if islam in uh, uh, in future can be big religion in that country and this is because the Islam person or, or the Muslim in that country also 
have a good behavior, have a tolerance, and also open to do social activity activity in that country. So automatically, the citizen in that country will uh, have a good respect for the Muslim. So I think that not impossible if in future Islam can be big reality in America. Yeah, I hope so. And yeah, I think it was amazing. Okay, uh, enough for me. Sorry for the mistake and thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, sir. I'm Andre Satrio from English Department, which is TBIB. And my registration number is 18140500056. And I would like to answer your question, sir. Your question is, as a student coming from Islam, Islamic background, I never traveled to the United States of America. And what do I have in my mind about United States of America? Okay, uh, United States of America, USA, is one of the greatest developed country that has many states and if you talk about how if muslim live in america i think it's fine but not really why uh, because there are some people that still cannot accept the muslim they still think about islam is a racist people and terrorism but now, but not, uh, we as a Muslim love peace and respect for another differences too. The media in America should stop to show up, to put over the hate for the Muslim. As a Muslim student, I think it's hard to live in America. And I don't like the attitude and the morals in America uh, because they are liberal people's right so they feel free to do anything what they want and sometimes breaking the rules is normal for them and i don't like uh, how they have free sex for teenagers me as a muslim uh, cannot accept that habit because in islam free sex is something like forbidden not only that uh, i will tell you what do i know about america also correct me if i'm wrong uh, united states of america they have four season it's uh, autumn in september until december winter in december until march spring march until june and summer june until uh, september so it would be fun if we visit there and i really curious about what is winter feels like and and also america have many many uh, festival even in one year so it will be fun to meet to meet new people and learn about something new um, I don't really like about politics so uh, I think I will not comment any idea about politics but one uh, I heard for this year about an election for America it's Trump or Biden right so I hope uh, they choose the right people for their future and I also hope Indonesia and America still have a good connection each other there are so many places that great to be visit in United States of America like Universal Studio Warner Bros Studio and also Disneyland as we know that they have produced many famous animation and movies uh, we can also visit another famous uh, places like uh, Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, Golden Gate Bridge and also 
uh, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, I really excited if you talk about uh, the education in United States of America. So they have so many famous university that have good quality and also good curriculum for their student. Um, I really like about art so my view is focused on University of Art. Mm, America have so much uh, University of Art that have good quality like uh, Alfred University School Art and Design uh, and California College of Art and the others. They really have so many famous university and good quality also. Okay, that's all about uh, what do I know and what my comments uh, as a Muslim student about America. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Isn't that interesting to listen to the diverse opinions and thoughts about the USA from these students? The students are Muslim students studying at Winnie Mambonjol Padang with me. I am Dosen Luar Biasa at the university. Dosen Luar Biasa means that I'm not a tenure track faculty, but I am trusted to teach the cross culture understanding course. What do you think about their thoughts and opinions? What can you conclude? Or do you have any ideas or suggestions? Please write down in the comment section. Kalau ada saran, ide, silahkan. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Okay?